Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn Experimental Build. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have, once again, have had another update. Uh, not a big big update, I think just a small update. Uh, so, let's see, we are on... Um, does it not even... Wait a minute. Does it not even tell us what the version is anymore? It usually shows it in the lower left-hand corner. Uh, that's weird. I just noticed that. Okay, well, anyway, I haven't... I haven't looked at the patch notes. Yeah, they, they usually it shows the version in, down in the lower left-hand corner, but I'm not seeing that they're interesting. So, um, yeah, like I said, I haven't read the patch notes, but here's one thing I, I noticed that they've changed. So we used to have basic scanning and advanced scanning, but now what you have instead, this is really cool too, is when you choose the density of the ores, um, it then tells you which ores fall into that category, which is really cool. Now, the other thing is that apparently density does not equate to hardness because you have some ores, you know, in the low density that, and including carbon, that's actually hardness of 10, you know, and then you have ultra dense and you have ores here that are 1.5 hardness. So, you know, I'm not a chemist or a geologist or anything like that, so I'm not... I'm not sure what the difference between those things are. I mean, I do understand that, you know, something that's more dense has more molecules than something that's less dense, but uh, but I guess that doesn't necessarily equate to, you know, to hardness, though, either. So, okay, there you go. I like that change. It's really cool. And then you can click on uranium and, you know, then look for it specifically. It doesn't seem, though, okay, hold on. Let's try something here. Let's go into our... Let's get this guy out and bring this up. Okay, now if we go hit F3 and go back into the map. Okay, so yeah, it's going to show where that is within this circle with the range of the scanner. I, th I think, right? So if we click on this, okay, yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but these tungsten nodes show up right over here. They show up as like these little green dots. And by the way, uh, on your number pad... Um, you can hit the minus and the plus keys to zoom in or out. So I'm zoomed as far out as I can go. And even though it's a little difficult to see, it is showing me some tungsten nodes. That is super useful, you guys. I love it, man. They are making changes to this and making it so much better as we go along. Um, well, let's try... Let's try... What is iron? Okay. So, yeah, we have lots of iron nodes uh, right to the north of us. And um, so it's shown us that. Okay, love that change. Absolutely love that change. I don't know why, though, like I said, they haven't, they removed the version number from the screen. I mean, that's not a big deal, but it was kind of nice to know what that is, at least so I can announce it to you guys. Anyway, um, what are we doing? Let's turn our light off. So I haven't really uh, done a whole lot more since I left you in the last episode because I've been busy doing other stuff. Um, I started playing uh, Satisfactory, and hey, man, it's a lot of fun. I did a live stream of it yesterday, and... We'll probably start a YouTube series of that at some point here in the near future, too. Um, but, uh, you know, so I haven't got a lot done. I've been doing a lot of seven days to die stuff, too. But what we need to do is we need to make plastic in order to continue working on the airlock walls. And so I did do one thing I did do off camera is I set down another furnace and fully upgraded it with all the accoutrements. Uh, and I also added uh, methane extractors uh, to both of these as well because you need methane to make plastic. So for today, we're going to just go fetch the methane from one of the methane pools. But, um, you know, in the future, we'll be able to take methane directly from these guys and, you know, use that for, for crafting and, and whatnot. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump on in our rover here. And I believe the um, one of the methane pools that we're after is kind of to the west, west by northwest over in this area. So let's scooch on over here and grab some of that and then we're going to make some plastic um there it is right there so that eh, we got caught on the plant okay let's go this way we also need sulfur and lead to make methane but i've got a, a full stack of both of those ores so we're good to go on there now, um, we did, uh, the last time we were here, we noticed that the pool will get smaller as we extract stuff from it. 
Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And my guess is, I haven't confirmed this, but my guess is that it will fill back up when it rains again. Because, the, you know, uh, Proteus doesn't have H2O rain, it has methane rain. There we go. Okay, so we filled up six full things of methane and we still didn't drain the full pool. One of you guys told me in the comments how many you can fill up. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it looks to me like probably uh, maybe we could do eight to ten in total. Uh, so I think that's probably how that works. Let's get our stuff back on our toolbar here in case we get attacked. So we'll put all that there. We'll put that there, this there, and that there. Okay, so let's head on back to the ranch here and um, and get some plastic going so we can continue working on the base. Because I would like to get, uh, by the end of this episode, if we can, I would like to get the, the habitat completely built. And maybe even then some, just depending upon how things go. So let's head on back over here. It's so funny that even even a wasp will stop stop the rover, <laughs> the collision on it. Okay, so let's head on over this way. And now we need to grab lead and sulfur. Okay, so there's a full stack of lead and sulfur is going to be here. Yeah. Excellent. Let's make as much plastic as we can with all of this. So that'll be 30. Yeah, 30 things of plastic. That consumed about two-thirds of our ore. Put that back in there. And then we'll just store these other glass jars in here. Once that's done, let's grab our wrench here. So we need Zamok and Duralumin. How much of that do I have? I can't remember. I don't remember. So we've got five Zamok and we've got 20 Duralumin. So we're going to need, I'm sure we're going to need to make some more Zamok too. We have to finish the airlock and then we have to do the ceiling. So let's look at the ceiling here. We're going to do skylight, so we're going to need one more Zamok and two Magnolium, which we have, some glass and some rubber, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh! Oh, come on, that wasn't that far. What the heck, man? Let's grab this magna magnolium and let's see, we needed, I think I said we needed glass and rubber, right? So we'll grab some rubber and some glass. Is that enough to finish this? I have short-term memory, guys. The 60s were good to me, except for in my case it was the 80s, not the 60s. Okay, so skylight is ready to go. Let's do it. Okay, look at that. Look at that. We got ourselves a skylight. I really, really like this mechanic of being able to fix up a ruined habitat. It just makes the game so much more fun. Um, and I arguably, I mean, I don't know this for sure, but I, because I haven't compared it, but I'm pretty sure it's cheaper to do it this way too, as opposed to building straight up from scratch. I, I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know. Again, like I said, I don't know that for sure. Man, these things take a long ass time, don't they? They don't even have 1% done yet. Hmm. Let's go back to our chem station, grab some plastic, and then get back to work on the airlock. We have three pieces left to do, I think. Go inside here. All right, so we're short to Zamok. What do we need to make Zamok? Zinc, magnesium, aluminum, and copper. Magnesium, aluminum, uh, copper, and zinc is got to be in here. I put all my silver ores in here. Molybdenum, silver, silver, zinc. 
All right, let's make, um, we, we seem to need Zamok for all kinds of stuff, so let's make, say, maybe four of them. I don't want to overdo it, though, either. You know, we're, we're just making stuff as we need it because, you know, with this new alloy system that we have, um, it's just a little more, it's a little more complicated to calculate how much you need. It, I could certainly do it if I wanted to take the time to do it, but I don't because... I don't like math, first of all. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, I can I can do math if I need to, but I, it's not my favorite. Um, and I'd rather just you know kind of kind of feel it out and you know hopefully hopefully we we guess fairly accurately, which I think we do a pretty good job of. All right. You guys are probably thinking, oh my goodness, old guy, if you're going to be starting to play satisfactory and you don't like math, you're in for in for trouble. Well, here's the thing about that. Okay, satisfactory is a game that you can play. And if you want to, you can not give a shit about efficiency, and you can still play it and have fun. Um, or you can play it, and you can min-max, and you can do, you know, try and set up your factories so that everything is as efficient as it possibly can be. I am dehydrated. No, I am in kind of somewhere in the middle between those two extremes. Okay, so it's not important to me for every single factory to be a hundred percent efficient but again i'll i don't want to set stuff up haphazardly and you know have a lot of, of waste product or inefficient factories either so i'm going to be somewhere in between the two of those things uh when we start playing that uh, in the let's play series um anyways i'm talking about a different game we're supposed to be talking about osiris so yeah enough about a satisfactory Okay, so we are waiting for Zamok, right? So let's get let's get some Zamok out of here. And then we should be able to finish our final airlock. Boom. Okay, look at this guys. We have a fully functioning habitat that we built from a ruined habitat. I love it. I love it. So this is even though this is technically open, it still considers it sealed. I have to kind of just imagine that there's a, you know, maybe there's like some kind of a force field or something in here that keeps the environment out. I mean, you know, we could put a coupler in, but couplers are expensive and I'd rather not do that right now. So we're just going to leave that open. I am going to fix up this hallway. That's an off camera project, of course, um, so that we can, uh, you know, utilize this at some point too. One thing I wanted to do is I wanted to actually go ahead and fix up this bot here, this droid. Oh man, we're barely scratching him. Okay, come on. Come on, devs. I love you guys. You know it, right? But I have maxed out weapon skill. This should be doing a little more damage than that, especially on headshots. I know he's the biggest bug in the game, but still, come on. Okay. We need a little bit more gun love here. I mean, I'm not expecting to one-shot a Colossus, but it shouldn't take, you know, four or five clips to bring him down, especially when I'm shooting him right in the head. So there you go. Okay, now you've heard from uh, heard from the choir. Serious dehydration detected. Okay, are you are you stuck behind here? Okay, this guy's gonna give us. A bunch of meat, so let's just get it. Oh, we haven't even inspected this guy yet? Oh, well, we have now. Get some science points there. How much meat did we get off that dude? 29 pieces. That's not so bad, actually. That's not so bad. Okay, so what do we need to begin repairs on this guy? We need wire, four wires, circuit board, one circuit board, one power cell, and one talonite. I think I have all that stuff. Now, one of you guys were asking me in the comments if this droid's any good. And first of all, and here was my response, and I'll, I'll respond to everybody. First of all, I have not messed with the droids yet in experimental. Let's take a drink here. So I can't, I, I don't know how well they'll do. But one thing that the little droid, the assistant droid, did do for me in the stable release is that it repaired my base. Uh, so even though it seemed to be derped out on everything else, uh, it did repair the base, and that alone makes it useful. Okay, so let's see. We need um, power cell. 
A circuit board. Wait a minute. Oh man, we're gonna have to make. We're gonna have to make. Are we really out of wires? I thought I had a whole mess of wires. Okay, hold on. Let me let me just double check. There are no wires in there. There are no wires in there. We must have used them all. Okay. Um, what do we need to make wires? We need copper, gold, and rubber. We're getting kind of low on rubber, too. In fact, we're getting very low on rubber. So let's make a circuit board. What do we need? What are we missing? Oh, wire. <laughs> uh, we don't have any broken wires either, do we? Nope, this one here. Nope, no broken wires. So, um, what was that again for, for this? Oh, no, we got to look in here, in here. Okay, copper, gold, and rubber for wires. So, yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to make some rubber now, guys. Um, copper and gold. Okay, let's grab that copper and let's grab that gold. So we're going to make one wire for the circuit board, but I think the robot thing said it needed four wires. Let's make this one first and get the circuit board done, and then we'll see where we're at. Starvation warning. We had, fortunately, we had two more broken circuit boards. Can we make circuit boards in here, or do we have to get, I think we're going to have to get the fabricator. That's our next goal, too, by the way, to get the fabricator up. So we got the battery and the um, the thing there. Let's use the rest of our rubber up to make this wire. I want to go look at it again because I'm pretty sure it said we needed four wire. Yeah, doggone it. We need four wires. Okay. Oh, and a talonite. I, I think I have a talonite. Didn't I make an extra one in the last episode? If I did, it would be in here. Look at that, a talonite. <laughs> thinking ahead, man. Thinking ahead. Let's put uh, the Zamok and the Magal Magal Magnolium or whatever the hell it's called back for now. And we can put this. Oh, and the Duraluminum too. Or Duralumin. Not Duraluminum. Duralumin. We'll put the plastic in here. And these two ores back in here. Let's grab from here this other piece of meat. And we will convert all of this meat into grilled meat. Ten pieces in total. Now, we're waiting for the wires, but we need to make... We're going to need to make more wire now. So, uh, or no, I'm sorry. We're going to need to make more rubber. So, to make rubber, we need hydrogen and carbon. We are set on hydrogen, I mean on carbon... But I think I'm completely out of hydrogen, unless I have some in here. I do not. All right, guys, we need to make a hydrogen run. What I'm going to actually do is fill all of these barrels up with hydrogen. And then we're going to dump the excess into our tank here. Let's grab the barrels out of here, too. And we're going to hop up, just go right up over the hill, because we have a hydrogen vent uh, right up through here. And we'll get some hydrogen. Look at that, man. Right next to home. What more could you ask for? Go away, you damn bugs. Let's grab some carbon. Uh, we'll grab a full stack of carbon. And we're going to make as much rubber as one stack of carbon and all this hydrogen can make. Which is going to be 50 pieces. Look at that. It's awesome. I have a couple of hydrogen uh, canisters left here that we can put in here. So... Uh, why? Why can't I put this in here? Oh, you've... You gotta get like right here. 
You should be able you should be able to add it from here because I mean that makes more sense. All right, let me get. I don't, I don't want to accident. Well, it's not going to let me put it in the liquid tank anyway. That's odd. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with having a specific spot to put it in because that's more realistic. But that specific spot should be right here, <laughs> not somewhere over on the side here. Okay, well, here we go. I guess we can do it from here. All right, I exhausted that vent, so it's going to take a little while for it to come back. So let's just store these in here for now. And, you know, again, at some point I'm going to set up gas and liquid tanks for everything and get them all filled up. But again, you know, off-camera stuff, right? Off-camera stuff. Okay, let's get rid of that and get our toolbar set back up. And we have another damn storm. Lovely. Let's repair our tools here. Have one more barrel. <coughs> Excuse me. Kazoo tight. How are we doing on our rubber? Okay, we've got a nice little supply of plastic. Now, let's make one more wire. We need the copper and the gold back. Um, copper. One one thing on copper left and some gold. I have to go get some more copper. And now we should be able to fix up our little droid. Okay, let's do it. Let me through. Uh. All right. So, you got a small inventory. We can tell you to stay or follow. But I think I'm just going to let him pat around the base. Now, the one thing about him repairing damage is... How does it work when, you know, something like this is damaged? Because if he just repaired it automatically, that would be hacks. Because I don't have to pay for it. Maybe he'll repair it if I own it. See, I don't own this yet, so I bet you that's how it works. So he, he wanders around, but he should. I don't think he'll get too terribly far from us. Hold still, you little bastard. Holy shit. All right. We're getting the crab claw out. You guys are pissing me off. All right, so I'm, I've mentioned this to you guys before, but once once the next stable release comes out, we're going to do a hardcore playthrough of this where we're going to make storms actually deadly and, you know, increase the animals, uh, the animal um, damage and stuff like that. So looking forward to that. We'll do a hardcore series because right now the storms are a freaking joke. Um, they're annoying is what they are. All right, what are you doing, homie? You should be staying around the base. Okay, here. Follow me. Come back towards the base. This guy used to also shoot stuff, too. Let's, let's see if we can get him to attack. I couldn't get him to do it in the stable release. Nah, he... The other problem he had in Stable is he could... When he was following you, he couldn't turn. Okay, so they still haven't fixed that. See, he can't turn when he's following you. 
All right, well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that they haven't done anything at all with improving the droid AI at this point. Um, I would very much like to be wrong about that, but that kind of appears to be the case. Okay, let's cancel follow. Um, if we just tell him to stay, he's just going right, to like sit there, right? Is he going to do anything at all? He looks in our direction. He really looks good. <laughs> Look at the chrome on this dude. All right, cancel, stay, and do whatever the hell you're going to do, I guess. I'm not sure if it was worth it for me to spend resources on you, homie. Anyway, all right, well, let's uh, forget about him, because I don't think he's going to help us out unless I'm wrong, which I hope I am. And the next order of business, my friends, is a fabricator. Um, we want a fabricator. And normally, I would also prioritize a, a water reclaimer. But, you know, with the new skill system and all the points in water, water is just not a problem for us. And we have plenty, you know, plenty of it. I'm still going to make it anyway, of course. But, yeah, at this point, it's just not that big of a deal. So, let's take a look and see. Uh, we want to go to appliances. And we want the fabricator is the first thing we need to make. The water reclaimer crates oxygenator we'll probably put the water reclaimer here so it's right by the entrance the nice thing about it too now in experimental if you guys didn't watch my season two i think it was is that you can actually fill containers up from it now too which is fantastic it takes a little while you know for it to fill up but once it fills up it's got i think it has like either two or three full liquid tanks full of water so it's really awesome unless they've nerfed it so we'll see but our first priority uh, is definitely, most definitely, the uh, fabricator. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we need to do to make of that. We're going to need ferrochrome. We're going to need wire. We're going to need demalloy, telonite, glass, circuit boards, and electrum. I think we can make all that stuff. Um, okay, good. So it, it does pin it uh, in the upper left-hand corner for us. Let's go out this way. So let's start with two of the chromium thingamadoodles, which I think we have to make in here. No, we don't. We make those in here. Ferrochrome. So we need chromium and iron. We need two of those. I'm going to just, you know what? I'm going to grab everything. It's going to make us probably a little heavy, but that way I'm just not messing around with looking for shit in these cases. Uh, we've got plastic. Let's grab some glass and power cells. Okay. So you make a ferrochrome, and you make a ferrochrome. You get a ferrochrome, and you get a ferrochrome, and you get a ferrochrome. Let's make two wires. What are we missing? Copper. Wait, I thought I grabbed... Oh, I guess I didn't grab everything out here. Two coppers. Okay, let's grab our ferrochromes out of here and our meat. Now, we need one uh, something or other. I think that's a dime alloy. And since we have all of our ingots in our inventory, that's a ferrochrome and a duralum. Yeah, so we have to make a dime alloy. And that is all of that stuff, silver and copper. We have the glass that we need. I think we need to make two talonites. Grab the dime alloy. What's left? Two circuit boards and one, I think, brass. Let me double check that appliance. No, electrum. Two circuit boards and an electrum. Okay, we should be able to make an electrum in here. And then two circuit boards. So can we do that in here? We cannot. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. 
That means old guy's gonna go out, have to go out and do some salvaging to get some broken circuit boards. A total of four in order to make this work. Hmm. So here's a question. What if, just per se, what if I had already salvaged everything that could be salvaged on Proteus and I needed to make a circuit board to make the fabricator, which will then allow me to make them normally? I'd be up a crick, wouldn't I? Unless we need to do an upgrade. What is this? Bolt rifle? No, that's all weaponry stuff. We wouldn't make a circuit board in the Kim station. We've already done the upgrades on here. Are there more upgrades for this? Oh, th wait a minute. Did they change something? Because I thought there was like an armor upgrade thing that you could do here too, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, Here, let's look at this. Yeah, see, this is the one that needs the battery. So that's what's holding us up from making this upgrade. All right, well, um, there is more salvage somewhere on this planet, uh, planet moon. So I guess I'm going to let you guys go here, and I'm going to go look for some circuit boards, some broken circuit boards, and I'll bring you back uh, once I have that. Excuse me, and we will build our fabricator. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, we are back, and I was able to find the uh, four broken circuit boards just by salvaging, and uh, I found a satellite and also uh, a few more places with some crates. Now, I set the the original settings in the game to respawn. In fact, well, I just used the normal settings, but it doesn't seem like salvage respawns, but I think the crates, oh, maybe the crates do. I'm really not sure uh, about that. I haven't you know, looked at it really closely to try and figure that out. Uh, I can tell you for sure that salvage, like, you know, the little parts that you salvage off of these ruined biodomes and stuff, that stuff is not respawning. I guarantee you it's not uh, if I've already done it. But uh, it seems to me like maybe the crates do in some cases or not. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Anyway, the point being is that we did get everything that we needed. So let's open up this. And um, I got a bunch of more water here, and we're going to take and put the, all that water in the uh, the tank. Uh, we're really low on fuel, too, so i got to refuel that, but I'll do that later. So let's see here. We want to uh, make circuit boards now. So let's go over here. And I was I was commenting earlier about how, how would I get more circuit boards if I had already salvaged everything, and I think... The answer to that is either A, if the crates themselves do respawn, uh, you can get them out of there, or B, you'd have to go around and look for wrecked satellites, because uh, I think that would be, would be, in that case, uh, your only option. We need wires. Oh, we have wires. Okay, wait a second. What are we missing here? Oh, those are, those are broken wires. Okay. So, do I have any... Do I have one more broken wire? I don't. Okay. Well, let's turn the broken wires into normal wires. I, didn't I make a bunch of wires? Well, I, I guess we used all the wires that we made. Yeah, okay. That's what happened there. Let's grab these. And now we should be able to make... Uh, two of these. While those are being made up, I'm going to... I'm a little heavy, so I'm going to put all the water in here. Let's grab our two circuit boards. And, uh, go back into here, go to appliances, select the fabricator. And we just need the ingots now. Just going to grab every... Oh, you know what? Okay, let me unload. I, I'm just too full. Give me one second here and I'll just get all this shit out of my inventory. Okay, so I think we got um, all of our inventory organized. Now we should be able to just grab all of this. And grab all of this. No, not that. This. That gave us everything? Yeah. 
it's just easier than trying to pick things out one at a time, especially since you can't, you know, uh, split or take one item off of a stack. I wish they add, I hope they add that into the game, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's go into here. We're going to go appliances, and we're going to build our fabricator. Here we go. All right, awesome. This is a this is a big uh, upgrade for us. So now we can actually make circuit boards just from raw materials, and we can oh, and we can make the battery now too. Fan frickin' tastic. Um, so we need let's do that now so we can get the upgrade going on our our uh, our three D printer. Does this wait? Does this have upgrades too? Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, it does. Okay, so they put the suit augmentation upgrade in here. That used to be in the workbench. Okay, that's cool. I'm down with that. Um, so, for the battery, let's take a look at that again. We need two power cells, plastic, and electrum. Okay, so we'll make the electrum, and then uh, it, said, it said we needed two batteries as well. To make those, or not batteries, but power cells. Let's queue up a couple of those and then we can make the battery and then we can upgrade this uh, so we're also going to need a talonite and another circuit board and we have the gunmetal talonite needs a chromium right there Okay, so we're waiting for the other power cell. And we'll need to make a new circuit board, uh, which we will do inside. Okay, while we're waiting for that stuff, let's take a look at our points. Uh, so we have four stat points. Uh, let's bump stamina up by two and health and strength by one. And what do we have left in engineering? So we've got uh, increase loot amount and we've got salvage faster and salvage bonus let's just finish these two out and then uh yeah then we'll just finish those out before science is no brainer we're done with science entirely and then gun durability and weapon durability doesn't matter um we'll just finish out with that one and then we're done with the point so yeah i think the point system i, I mentioned this i think in the last episode or maybe two episodes ago i love the idea of this I like where they're going with it, but it needs more work, okay? Uh, it needs... First of all, I've, I'd like to see more options than we have. And secondly, they need to put appropriate stuff together for, you know, based upon where you are in the game. So don't put spacewalking as a prereq very early on. And maybe add some more stuff to it, too. The other thing that's a little weird is that, um, you know, you get, you get boost fruit nutrition... Which is fine, but you know you don't have anything for meat. But then, but you have all f all of these things for water. And once you get to the top, I mean, water is just almost not an issue at all. So I don't know. I just need some balancing, is what I'm trying to say. But I do like it though. I, l I like the idea of it. I like where it's going for sure. Can we make a battery? Yes, we can. Okay. Now we need to make uh, two circuit boards. I think it was. So we're gonna need. Um, two diamalloys, two power cells, and two uh, two more electrums. Okay, let's worry about that in a minute. Can we now do this upgrade? No, we need the circuit board. Okay. So, okay, so let's make another power cell. And what do we need for a diamalloy? Copper. Now we can do a circuit board. Oh, neat. We can make the heat pistol. Oh, we need a fire gem. I think we need um, zirconia to make that. And a charge rifle and all that kind of cool stuff in here. And then we have, we'll have all these upgrades that we'll have to do. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do the suit augmentation, which is not hard to do. This we can't do until we find zir zirconium, but this one we, we should be able to do easily. Uh, because there's a if they haven't changed that in experimental, there's some pretty nice suit upgrades that'll help us out. I think we're ready to finally do this upgrade. Yep. Okay, and then let's build it. Weapon fabrication upgrade. It's a beautiful thing. All right. 
So we can now make the heavy assault rifle, uh, but we need zirconium before we can do that. The bolt rifle, yeah, we're going to make this because this thing is badass. I mean, as long as they haven't changed it from stable, uh, this thing packs a punch. It only has, I think, like three shots, but those shots do a heck of a lot of damage. And then, yeah, this we have to wait for zirconia. So, okay, cool. So, guys, I'm going to work on, I don't have any diamonds with me at present but we know where to find them so i'm going to work on uh, making the bolt rifle and getting the fabricator um upgraded to the suit thingamadoodles uh so we'll do we'll do the suit upgrade because i've got all that stuff to do that and then we'll start working on getting all of the appliances built in the base in fact i tell you what i'll probably just do that off camera so for those of you who, who may not be real familiar with the game, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a water reclaimer, and you can see all the resources down there, which I have. I just got to get get it all together. We need a climate controller for the biodome. We need an oxygenator. Um, well, I don't actually technically I don't think we need the oxygen oxygenator on Proteus, but we're going to make it anyway. Uh, we need a kitchen and a chemistry table and then of course i'm going to make storage lockers uh, too which are actually pretty damn cheap um but they don't have quite as much space as a depositor but they still have a decent amount of space so i'm going to work on that all of that stuff off camera get the upgrade for the suit thing here and make the bolt rifle and then after i get all of that stuff done i'll probably bring you guys back for the next episode and then we'll figure out the next thing the next thing is going to be the biodome the the barracks and then uh, then the lab. Uh, the lab is going to be really, really important because that's where we make all of our vehicles. So we're going to be really working hard towards getting that done. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.